Hey folks, we're here on the 7th here in Portage, Michigan. We're going to take a look at some tornado damage that just happened. So tornadoes passed over here to the east, southeast. But we're going to go down here in South Portage here and take a look at some damage. Emergency vehicles coming up from behind me right now. I'm going to be pulling over here just for a second to let them by. A lot more emergency vehicles up ahead of me there, which is basically downtown uh, uh, Portage. Another ambulance. Be down there in a couple sec seconds. Hold on. Well, so far we got one telephone pole half cracked off here at the base. But that's nothing yet. We're going to get up some some lot worse damage. I wish it wasn't, but it's the way it is. Be right back. It looks like that they are directing us up here away from the downtown area that took the hit. There's another uh, ambulance coming up from behind me. There's an ambulance up ahead here with its doors wide open. I see um, several telephone poles up here. It looks like they're leaning under the tension. And we have another ambulance coming right here beside me. That's not good. I'll be up here in just a second. Be right back. Now we have more emergency vehicles coming this way. I'll sit here for just a second and let them by. Get up here and let this black vehicle through here. Looks like some damage up here in the corner. Signs are just tore to hell up here. You can see it. This is at the corner of South Westney Street and Garden Lane near Celery Flats. Oh yeah, all the wires and big telephone poles down there in the street straight ahead, crossing the whole street. Yep. Doesn't look good. Oh my gosh, look at this down here. It is tore to hell. You can't see this, these are, this is where Celery Flats uh, Interpretive Center is down here with, where I was just uh, two weeks ago with uh, Brother Miller and his artwork where, uh, where the uh, bluegrass music was played right over here. And now it looks like it's impassable and everything is tore to hell. The barn over here in which it's right over here, the old antique barn that Jared had his uh, display in is tore all up. The trees are all topped out like what you'd see. Of course, a tornado came through here and tore this all up. Some people's home right here. They're standing out there beside it. We have uh, sheet metal here roofing in the road. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Here's the railroad tracks right here. And we're gonna be driving over some wires here. I'm not gonna sit on them, I'm gonna wait. The telephone pole's down right there. All right, I'm gonna get over these wires. Here's the uh, guarded train tracks right here, and they are tore all up watching where you drive we don't need a a flat tire as you can see it's got all knocked into right there and it's all across the train tracks going down there the train tracks are out of commission out of commission 
And here we're on celery flats again. You can see the old trees topped right out. And the interpretive center back here, look it, it's a disaster. The whole area. The old mansion has stood there pretty good. Trees are down around it. But the, uh, the center here is all tore up. It's all tore up. Right here by the mansion. Again, we have some vehicles here. I'm going to turn in here. And park for a minute. Go here and uh, take a little look at this for a minute. I'll be right back. Again, uh, again, folks, uh, can hardly speak. All tongue-tied here at the damage here along the Portage bike trail here in Portage, Michigan after the tornado this afternoon. Sirens in the background. Train tracks completely knocked out down here with all the trees and telephone poles, power lines across them. Here's where I just made the video just three weeks ago, Brother Miller back here in the barn. It stood pretty good. It's behind the old mansion house. A little damage to it, but the rest of these don't look bad. It's a lot of forestry damage, and down here on Wesley Street going south of Garden Lane, big telephone poles down and damage all down through there. We're going to go down around that in just a second and take a little bit better look from the other side. I'll be right back.